all that you were worried. Yes, we did bring Buck along. What's up, buddy? All right, let's get to it. So today we have a really exciting day. We get to go shopping. Shopping at the dealership. The good old John Deere dealership. So they got a big shipment in and we are gonna go down there and see what they got. All right, head down here. What a beautiful day today. So the primary reason we're going down there is we don't have a lot of implements. We need to seriously consider some tillage equipment. So that is the goal is to pick up some tillage equipment and hopefully get in the field this afternoon. That is the hope because uh, we can't just stay all the time and not get any tillage work done. We've got a field over here that needs tilled field on the other side of these trees the other side of our little pond here that needs tilled man got a lot of to do just like every farmer's springtime we are way behind and uh, nervous to get in the field so I heard that the John Deere dealership got a huge shipment in so we're gonna go over here and see I'm hoping they got some tillage equipment in. What do we have coming up here? Oh man, do they ever get a big shipment in? See all that? Wow. Look at all that. Look at all that. I, I know I'm rubbernecking. Oh man, I'm off the road. Man gonna get cause an accident with all this uh, shiny green paint wow how did they ever get a big shipment in whoo yeah so I do own a portion of this dealer so basically I only own 5% of it which means I get a dealer discount for all the items I, I buy here so my guess is we're going to buy a lot from the John Deere dealership. They did say that they're going to try to get some used stuff in and they're not only going to carry so they won't just uh, sell off all their trade-ins like uh, Case or uh, Cat or Challenger, them type of trade-ins. They will try to sell it at the lot first. Oh, wow, look at all that nice. Wow. Wow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, I see some tillage stuff here. Man. Talk about a nice place. Look at all that stuff. You know, pay attention to the road here. Wow. Alright. Let's get out. What the heck? Park too close to the bumblebee. What the heck is this? Somebody likes the yellow. Yellow paint is good, but it's just if it's your color, just know that you're probably going to take a hit when you resell it. But man, is that truck yellow? I think he should have got the rims black. It would have looked good with all the black accents, like the step bars and the front uh, bowl bar, I think they're called. It's like he has some pressure washing. Yeah, he's got, or either that, or he uses it for, uh, yeah, he uses it to spray or apply implements maybe he goes around and sprays the bad weeds in his pasture I don't know let's go and see if there's anybody around wow look at this place whoo nice what do we got here whoo man these are nice these are trikes oh oh I'm sorry I'm sorry narrow fronts 
It's funny thing is, if I would have, my grandpa used to own a few of these. If I would ever say never front to me, he would have correct me. But I get it. The proper term is narrow front. But and uh, on our old grandpa's farm, it was trike. But man, we got a 5:30, a 6:30, and a 7:30. Woo, man! Look, every single one of them's restored. How cool is that? That's pretty cool there. 730 is a diesel. Every single one is a power steering, a narrow front. Man. I'll tell you what, them narrow fronts are kind of... They bought. They kind of wiggle you around in the field, but man, I wish they weren't. I could start them up, but they're inside their building here, so I don't want to start them up, and they probably get all mad at me. Man, are them nice? All right, so the dealers—they're just opening up, so they said basically snoop around and uh, come find them once if we are interested in anything. So. Uh, Looks like we got a split disc, a 220. Hmm. This is an older disc, but I think this is about right because I don't know if we're going to be able to get another tillage tractor. So for the time being, we might have to go small and get a little small disc. Might have to consider getting that. Well, wonder... Let's see, the disc, yeah, all the discs looks like they're fairly good condition, all rolling, all the tires looked air up, oh, maybe, maybe about 7500 might be a good price for it. Oh, wow, SVL 95 2S Kubota. Man, look how big that cab is. Cab is sick. It's got a sick old uh, grapple hook on it. A grapple box. Man, is that cool. We got a two, well, a John Deere 333G and a John Deere 332G. So the three must be in tracks, I take it, or size, one of the two. Man, that, that cab is a lot smaller than that cab right there. Man, tracks would be nice, but I don't know what I want if we can afford paying for them. I do like these little tire wheels on there. This might be an option. We do need this if we get into cattle. You'd just be amazed at how much you would use a kid steer around the place. You know, lifting pallets, moving pallets, uh, scooping out cow poo, or, you know, just moving tree limbs around you. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of loot uses. You don't realize you'd use it until you actually own one and you're always driving it. I think we are missing a uh, loader on the farm right now. Gonna have to get at least a tractor loader or two, and I think I, I think we might end up splurging a little bit and getting that. Whew. Now that's a big disc. That's a monster right there. That's a uh, basically a 50 foot, 49 and uh, three inches. It's like it's got rolling baskets on the back does have a back hitch too big for us too big for us oh cultivator three section I think this 2410 would probably be too big for 83 be close it might pull it but it, it might struggle up a hill take it this is uh, 30 foot oh, probably 10 section or three section Tenth foot of section. I think that's right. Not positive. But this disc might be an option. 
I mean, it'll be a lot for 8330. I, I think he'd be able to pull it, though. Only bad thing, it doesn't have a rolling basket. It does have a back hitch. So maybe we could get a uh, field finisher for the back of it. I didn't see a field finisher here. Like a rolling basket field finisher. I didn't see one, so that might be a problem, but... I think that would be nice pulling that though. Oh wow. So this we are looking for a drill, but this 1990 is kind of big for us. Don't know if our uh so that is CCS C metering. I don't know, think our 8330 would pull that. Kind of limited. Really need a bigger tractor someday but I think it's probably too big for our fields anyways we are gonna have to get into a drill somehow some way oh man pretty sure they had this 8530 almost right off the bat man duels all the way around looks like what do we got here we got a uh, whew, center box uh, three-point lift or hitched what is this uh, 18 row or 16 row sorry 16 row has a back wheel assist it's the only issue I mean this has a lot bigger uh, seed boxes than our planner don't think we could afford this because this looks like it has a uh, downforce has uh, electric drives yeah roll shutoffs Every row shut off. Man, I, I bet that thing is expensive. Yeah, they got front little uh, plates there that go down in the ground so you can uh, take it off the three point. Man, it just folds up so nicely, though. I bet that thing rides nice because. You want to have all the weight because the back wheels are supporting a lot of it, at least keeping it balanced. That wouldn't be a bad planner, but I think we got a great planner so far, so we're going to keep that. Ooh, a 9520RT. A little pro till on the back. John Deere pro till. I don't know. I mean, this almost looks like a reskin, but. That pro till. There's no way, shape, or form do we have a big enough tractor to pull that thing. 7230R. Ooh, look at that loader on there. That's a huge high lift loader. That would be a bad bailing rig there. Man, it's got a Vermeer on it. Six. 05 M. Definitely need a baler. And I did like my Vermeer, so we might get back into another Vermeer. Man, that would be a great setup right there. What a great setup to have. 7 Series R and a Vermeer baler with a loader on there. Woo! Man, that would be nice to have that. Nice. Oh, got a little 30 foot head here. It's a nice head to have. John Deere 30 foot head. What do we got here? S550. And I didn't even know they made these. 55, huh? I didn't know they made a 50 series S series combine. And look at that. That unloading auger is tiny. I think this is probably too big of a head for this harvester, but the thing is nice, so got some big floaters on there. Not a bad harvester. Don't think we can afford a S series John Deere. Not with how much we already splurged on our planing rig. Oh, we got an S780 with a 12 row head on. Big old tracks. Ooh, man, this thing is 
It's got the big top on the top. Man. Got the good years on the back. That is a nice harvester there, buddy. Set another uh, 7 series. This is a 7210. But John Deere uh, 690 baler on there. Square baler. Wow. It's not bad. Uh, that's not a bad bailing rig right there either. Man, they got so much nice stuff in. Looks like a lot of it's new. I only have a few used. This, I wouldn't mind having this at all. A 6R. Man. Got a uh, Baylor 864 on there, a premium. Four foot wide Baylor, looks like. Pickups really wide for a four foot wide baler. That is not a bad tractor. I Man, it's got the monitor, it's got everything you need. Yeah, it's got the loader controls. Looks like it has an attachment for loader. And I would not mind having this thing. Don't know if we can get into that baler. I kind of like the wider balers, to be honest, but it's not a bad baler. Is that the monitor down there? Is that a monitor down there? What the heck? How would you put your monitor down there? Huh. I guess. Wouldn't it be easier just to put it in the cab? That's weird. That is definitely weird. I haven't seen that. 8370R. Some good years on there. And nice tires on that thing. It's got another 16 row, three point mounted center fill planter. Man, what a nice planter that is. That is a nice rig. Yep. Maybe one day we can upgrade to that. Whew, man. Smells like new. This is definitely all new cab. Ow. This thing is nice. Got two monitors on it. Man, this is why farmers go broke right here. Armors go broke because uh, I, I blame uh, all the dealerships and all the equipment companies. They just make too nice of stuff. Farmers want to borrow the money and then they get back and they can't get their debt paid and bang, then they're bankrupt. What do we have over here? It looks like we got a saucy tract. Ooh, uh, 8345R. Got a big old uh, planter on there. Looks like a 60 foot CCSC delivery. It's got the smart choice boxes on there. And it's got downforce, electric drive, row shutoff. Let's see if this is just like a Jim's tractor. Yep. Looks just like that other, basically, uh, 8R we were in. Except uh, a lot more expensive because of the saucy tracks on there. These tracks ain't cheap. Definitely more expensive than tires. Look at their peat here. Man, that's a good looking peat. Platte Valley equipment. What do we got over here? Keeping us hidden over here. This must be their old grader tractor or something. 630 John Deere. Big old fat tires on the back of this thing. Good looking John Deere there. We got a, we got a 25 foot head here. 35 foot, sorry. 35 foot John Deere head. Wow, 16 foot. 
See, that would be nice to have because we got a 16 roll planner. This would work nice. We just now need to win the lottery so we can pay for the harvester that needs to go on. Yep. All we need to do is run the lottery and just keep trying till we fail. Look at these sprayers. Man. Sprayer sick. That thing has duels all around it. Yeah, that thing ain't gonna get stuck in the field. Whew. Man. I think it's nice looking. So that's a R4045. I just want to see what this thing looks like in the cab. Look at all them tires all the way around. Got tires on here. And if you get this stuck, you're an idiot. What a nice sprayer. It's a little bit probably too expensive for us, so. R4045, another one. This says tracks. Man. Tracks all the way around. Looks like these are their thin tracks or something. Yep. What do tracks look like? Yep. Just like tires, I guess, from the cab. Wonder uh, how these tracks actually uh, feel like in cab. Is it a bumpy ride or are they smooth? I've heard most tracks, that's one downside of them. They don't give you quite the same ride as the tire. Especially down the road. We got up here. Man, we got a 9570 RX. Ooh. Man, we just need this is our new tillage tractor right here. Yep. Not a big deal. We'll just sit in a night RX. Easy peasy to afford this. We'll just be paying for the rest of our life. And you can almost see the drawbar back there. Just guess you really can't see it. That's the only downside of this. You can definitely see the three-point hitch, but you can't see the drawbar. Other than that, this cab has a fairly good vision out of it. Try to put your uh, exhaust and your breather or your air intake behind the little uh, window pillars or your cab pillars there. And we got a S770. Yeah, this thing. Look at that cab. It's not gonna be able to put that 16 roll head and actually go in the field with it, but man, is it nice. We got a S680. So this might be able to have enough gunk, cojones, to be able to pull that 16 row over there. But. The only main issue is we'll never be able to afford it. Maybe one day. They have the basically places to stand so you can wash the window and everything. They think of everything on John Deere does. It's one of the downfalls. You know, I used to have to get in the harvester, raise up the head just so I could sit on the stand and be able to wash the windows off. What the heck is this thing? Holy cow! Look how wide that thing is. Them duels are wide. Man, I can fit right in there. Fit in there. Do some jumping jacks. Wow. Things are huge. So that, that's gotta be wider than the 30 inch. Where's this? Let's go over here and look. Is that a 30 inch? I believe that's a 30 inch. Man, this must be a 36. Maybe a moth. Gotta have. Where's a 30 inch? A, tr a true 30 inch here. This doesn't have front duels on, so it's hard to tell. That might be a true 30 inch there. This got to be, yeah, this is definitely wider. Wonder, 
I didn't really know they had cotton country around here. What's that? 8420. I see a lot of 8420s around. Four remotes. Doesn't have a quick attach on the back. I wonder how these tires look inside this. Wow. You know, look how wide the things are. Yeah, and it's almost like you have triples on. You could have a whole nother tire in the center of these things, to be honest. More than a tire. And things are wide. Pretty sure they use 36 inches for cotton. There's a few farmers that use it, but they're mostly hobby farmers. But So this is a 84R. Yeah, them, them are... Or 36 inch too. Look how wide them things are. Man, oh man. So, do we look at everything? What? Well, I gotta look at these old tractors. I can see why this thing is in the the shop. 4555. This thing has seen its day. It's rugged. Bet it's still running though. Or at least can be running. Definitely got a weird front mount on it. Definitely different looking. 7610 here. Yep. 7610. Not a bad tractor to have. Alright, so we snooped around enough. Now we gotta figure out. Don't know if I can really. I mean, I'd like one of them hay tractors, but I think it's not really the time for us to splurge yet on uh, our hay operation or cattle operation. And one of them 7Rs would be nice, but I think I'm gonna get this old disc here. 30 foot, I believe. Disc. And try to get that. So I pick that up. Pick up. See if we could talk him into having this, uh, our skid steer here. Skid steer. John Deere. 220. Disc. Man, what should I offer for all this? See what they have for price tag. So, they want 130. 130,000 for all the items put together. The good thing is, is with our little discount we have and what I talked them down so we can get them all for 120 which is good because we still have to get some cattle we still got to get in cattle we still got to get into uh, got to get all the hay operation cattle supplies I mean probably another tractor too I mean really we need to figure something out so I mean we'll have two discs I think we'll have we'll be good for a little while so Alright, so we are helping them load up this disc. That's why I like this hitch on front of this uh, skid steer. So easy to do this type of work. Move stuff around, get it just perfect. Especially if you have like grind wagons and everything. go I think we'll hitch it right there try to fold this thing up and see if we are good I don't know if I can there we go we got that thing just uh, barely on there tie this down here all right we paid him it's time to skedaddle and get in our fields man got to drive away from this green paint as quick as possible because otherwise uh, your pocketbooks or your wallet will be empty and your pockets will be pulled out. Our truck is at. The truck should be in front of us somewhere. Oh, uh, yep. There he is. So... It's like he's taking it awful slow, which is good. Don't need to have to come pick up none of our new equipment off the concrete here. We'll put our uh, hazards on so we can uh, make sure. 
There isn't no traffic around here, which is kind of odd, but... Alright, we ended up passing the truck, so it looks like we're gonna get to watch them pull in here. And is that disc ever so high on that thing? Alright, looks like the dealership's driving off. We're just gonna move this disc over here. Drop this off. And do I ever like this uh, hitch on this uh, little skid steer here. This will be nice and convenient. Eh, I think we'll park it here. We're going to use it right away anyways. Back that up. Go park this in the garage quickly. We get it in over here. Gonna scoot in here. Going to be a tight fit. Look at that. Like a glove. Alright, so I want to get in the field right away if we can. So I'm going to jump into our 4440 and hopefully this thing pulls that disc. So I, we're still working on our planer, so I'm not going to take the 8330 off just yet. Wanna, but we can uh, get started in the field work. Man, do I ever miss my cousin. Usually I could have been working on the planner and have her disking up and everything. All that training I did with her, and now I don't have her anymore. Hopefully uh, this thing does all right. Don't know if I've done any tillage work with this tractor yet. We've got this double here to disc in. All right, lower this down here. Start in our field. Disking up nicely. Gonna do some deep disc in there. Let that thing go. This tractor's quiet for, uh, once you got that uh, power on it. getting a little dark out here so I had to turn on my lights but man we got a long night today tonight hopefully I can get this tilled up so man is this soil ever rich I mean look down there man it's rich soil we got there so just love you know driving through disking up stubble like this one of my favorite things to do I mean just look at that stubble chopped up ground up makes great food for the plants about a year from now so surprises stubble still standing so good over the winter but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Missouri 
Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.